So hello everyone and welcome to Cisco Baltic Edition and welcome to Samsung Estonia. I'm here with Mr. Martin Sarap from uh, Samsung Estonia and together with Martin we're going to show you how you can build a fantastic telepresence unit using standard components from Cisco, namely the Cisco Telepresence SX10 unit and how you can marry it up with fantastic professional displays from Samsung. Now we're going to show you how you can build it, um, we're going to look at the different components, so consider this more as a how-to video. But before we do that, let's take a look at the components we have here on the table. On the left side here, we have the Cisco Telepresence SX10 unit. This is a uh, neat little package including the Telepresence codec, the camera and the microphone. We have the remote control over here and some cables. We have the HDMI cable which connects the Telepresence unit to the screen. We have the Ethernet cable which will connect the codec to the internet and we have a power supply. Now, if you have a power over Ethernet network, you're not going to need the power supply because the SX10 unit works over uh, using power over Ethernet. And then we have some brackets here and Martin is going to talk about the brackets uh, as well. Martin? Yes, thank you Rasmus and hello everybody. The bracket is uh, really easily adjustable. It uses a VESA standard. Only you have to do is screw just uh, four screws and that's it. And uh, we can show it a little bit later how, how we manage. Absolutely, and, and VESA standard, that's a worldwide global standard for connecting something onto a screen, is that yes, correct? Yes, you are absolutely right. It's a worldwide global standard and uh, all the screen producers are using it and also Samsung using it for sure. Oh, fantastic. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think what, where we should start is probably by attaching the bracket to the screen, right? Yes, that's a good idea. So let's do it. Let's do it. So welcome to the other side of the screen. Now Mark is going to show you some tips and tricks of how to set up the bracket in the most optimal way. So Martin, do you want to show how you would do it? Yes, sure. It's really easy, as I explained before. Only you have to put those two screws here. Now Martin, you're putting in the screws before the bracket. Why are you doing this? Yeah, it's much more easier to adjust the bracket actually. You have a uh, screws already installed and now you only have to put the bracket here and put the heads top of it so it's you can see it's it's already adjusted here it's really easy one and two now you have to control that everything is fixed and you can put just codec top of it. And that's it. Wow, that wasn't really difficult at all. I think it went really, really smoothly. Now guys, I want to show you a neat little trick. Once you have the SX10 codec and the bracket attached to each other, what you can do to speed up the installation process is just to tilt the codec like this all the way back and Martin is going to show you how you can just attach the different cables to the codec. Now what this means is you're able to almost pre-install the unit and have them in a warehouse or in your storage area and, and roll them out to the place wherever it's needed uh, and you can have the cable in a plastic bag or a, or a cardboard box or something. They're not going to be hanging around causing issues, nobody's going to steal them and um, this is going to speed up the installation process by a factor of 10. And uh, because there's only a few cables you need to attach, it's going to be a really, really smooth and quick process. And Martin's uh, doing it in the background and I think he's uh, just about to, to finish the task. Yes, I'm finished. Done. And Good, now we just need to power it up. So folks, while it's booting up, uh, I do want to talk about the issue about remote controls and screens. Martin, there's a specific reason why we've chosen professional screens to be attached to a Cisco Teleprocess unit. Do you want to talk about that for a minute? Yes, Rasmus. Uh, the idea is that the professional screen recognizes the uh, device what is uh, blocked in with a screen. So you can see it already recognized and I don't need this extra remote. So basically, you can put it away and use only Cisco remote. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really a big benefit. Uh, just think about the situation when you have one of these 
in your meeting room and you've connected to a consumer grade display. What's going to happen with the display? It's going to power down at some point. Um, a remote's going to be missing. It's going to be an issue finding the right source of the telepresence units. We definitely recommend that you use a professional screen which would identify the SX10 unit and immediately choose the right channel without having to have those uh, multiple remote controls. And uh, once it's booted up, what will happen, it will actually turn all blue and then you can start configuring. And the way to do it is, you have the remote control over here, is to go all the way here. Now it says no network connection and it's, it's really simple. We haven't connected the ethernet cable to, um, to the internet. But we can definitely set it up and we'll show you how it works. Down here you'll have settings and a setup assistant will, which will make it really, really simple for you uh, to set it up. This is really a wizard that you just click through. Uh, you can check the microphone. The microphone is located over here. You can also attach external microphones to it. I think this is okay. Then we can check the volume like this. Then next and we have a fantastic image on this uh, Samsung display. You can move it around, you can choose how to do it, you can zoom and so on. So all in all, it's a fantastic little, little package coming with the best possible components put together for you so that you would have the right kind of quality when you set it up and ease of use when you actually start using it. So Martin, uh, anything you want to say? I say that uh, let's go to the market. Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks. Take care, guys. Bye.